Hello everyone and welcome to The Bunker. Now, this is a recently released horror game you can find on Steam. I'll put the relevant details down below in the description if you want to try this yourselves. Uh, it's not free though, it cost me £15, and I'm assuming it's going to be something like $20 over in the US. Now, uh, this is going to be a very strange playthrough, or a very different playthrough in comparison to the ones I usually do, probably, because this is a very different kind of horror game. This is actually an FMV game, otherwise known as full motion video. Um, so I think the majority of what you'll see in this game, or maybe just everything you'll see in this game, is going to be composed of real life shots. Uh, and rather than characters being voice acted, they're just acted. And um, that guy right there, he is going to be the, uh, the main character. That's who I'll be playing as. And you might recognize him actually as one of the dwarves in the Hobbit films. I want to say he's called Ori. So just imagine him a little bit shorter, more hair, dwarf-like, and it all slots into place. Um, I will be playing as him inside this bunker, and um, I believe he's the sole survivor after a nuclear blast. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely the guy, yeah. <laughs> um, I've heard good things about this game, honestly, but let me, let me just let you know that I'm a little bit apprehensive, because I've played a few FMV games in the past, and they... They can sort of devolve into just watching a film, or a, a cartoon in some cases, with just, you know, a, a very, very thin layer of gameplay, where it's just, uh, I don't know, button pushes, or quick time events, or something like that. So I'm hoping, you know, The Bunker is more a game than a film, I guess we'll find out shortly. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of apprehensive. Call me jaded, cynical, pessimistic, whatever, but, uh... That's my biggest fear. I would love to be pleasantly surprised, let's put it that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. I want to see what this has got to offer, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Here we go. This is The Bunker. Oh, I'm in control now. Breathe. Uh, do I just click? Or I guess so. Hopefully I don't have to do that every few seconds throughout the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So is this some sort of alternate history, then? I guess World War Three happened in the 80s or something? This is, uh, this is very Fallout, in a way, so far. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not quite like Fallout, where you have to uh, play as a baby or anything, as a child. Day 10,998, wow. Uh, okay.
trouble is. Uh, this game, I suppose, is going to be one big cutscene. I usually like to stop talking over cutscenes, but you won't hear too much of me if I, if I keep doing that. So I'll have to try and find a nice balance. Right. Everyone else has, uh, has gone, I guess. Not be safe. As long as I'll I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? Bleeding time, Mum. Yes. Are we back in control? Kind of hard to tell, but yes, yes, we are. Okay. Um, so we, we we got a choice, have we? Okay, yeah, we can read about domestic nuclear shelters. We can read a few pages from the Bible, or we can go to Treasure Island. I think I've got to choose Treasure Island. It's got to happen. He was concealed by the time behind another trunk. I think might be watched. <laughs> I love you, Joe. I'll be here. I keep you safe. I promise. No. 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 Please. Please. Wow, that was a heartbreaking start. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, you know, if, if that continues, I can say it's been well acted. <laughs> the routine, eh? Stick to the routine. Oh, it's been a few more days than it seems. Okay, yeah. Sure, the routine. Um... Oh, we see. We're going to start at one, are we? So we're going to deal with our medical needs, vitamins and decimeter. Okay, sure. All right. And the curse has reappeared again. So, okay, yeah, this is... Uh, you know, there's already a little bit more gameplay than some other FMV games I've played. So, you know what? This is, this is going to be okay, I think. Uh, let's have a little play with this. My vitamin B level is low. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that shot lasted just a little bit too long. Made it a bit awkward, but yeah, okay. Um, I'm assuming whatever you need is in this cabinet here, yeah? Okay. Right, so... What are we doing? Have I actually got a choice? Where is it? Oh, hang on. Is this it? I need to take my vitamins first. Okay, okay. I just wanted to know what that was. Was that like an EpiPen or something? Same shot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, vitamin pills? No? Ah, these maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Right. So this is the routine, and before my mother I died... If my radiation level is safe. I wonder if that has something to do with this. It does, alright. Oh, is that the decimeter? Dossi, dossi meter? I don't know if I'm saying that right, to be honest. What's this? Nope, hold it down, okay. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Okay. 
I would have liked to seen it a little bit lower, I suppose, but sure, I don't know what the, the standard would be. Right, so that's our medical needs done. That's one part of the routine done. Okay, so the radio? That's probably what I tried to fiddle with a minute ago, wasn't it? All right. So what are we doing here? Back? Oh, I see. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to scan my cursor over the screen a lot of the time just to make sure, you know, <laughs> just to try and identify if this is a gameplay portion or a cutscene portion, if that makes sense. Um, we can turn the knob here, it seems. Let's go right. Any luck? Oh, there was something. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, try left. Why not? I guess we're just trying to find any signs of life. Is there anyone out there? Is it safe to come out yet? <laughs> Alright. Well, that's been checked as well. Okay, radiation check. Why not? Seems pretty important. Okay, what's this about? Um, contrast is... Oh, okay, alright. There's actually quite a lot you need to do in this game, it seems. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I've got to say. Uh, sure. Very, very cool. Very, very retro. As, uh, I'm getting a bit of nostalgia from this, in a way. This is kind of nice. Perform... Yeah, absolutely. Everything looks good. Yep. Bunker radiation is normal. Nice. Okay, so that's another one checked, isn't it? Damn right it's good. Okay, food and... and uh, I'm kind of curious about this fifth one, mother. Well, uh, unfortunately we can't choose that one yet. We have to do these in order. We have to follow the routine, as mother said. So in my entire life, I've never been outside this bunker. Food first. Yeah. Choose my food, okay. Uh, what do we got here? So, uh, this one? Peaches. My favourite. <laughs> so that makes 27 years. Three months and 14 days of food left. Jesus. <laughs> Hitting two birds with one stone, I suppose? I mean, peaches? Maybe they go right through him. Uh, I don't know. Are all the other cans peaches as well? I mean, is it just peaches? Probably not. Maybe I just got lucky and picked his favourite. Anyway, uh, that's four down, one to go, and it's Mother. What does that involve? Right. That's kind of creepy, although I suppose where are... I mean, what are you going to do with her? Are we in control here? Oh, okay, we are. Um, it looks like I can have a look at the Bible. Um, ooh. You can see the juices on the pillow. That's lovely. That's a really nice detail. This actually looks like quite a high-budget production, really, honestly. I'm, I'm quite surprised. Uh, let's have a look at what's on her chest. Looks like a piece of paper. Yes. Lovely. You can see the eye sockets. Uh, yeah. I'm not very good at drawing. <laughs> Evidently so. Wait, that wasn't something you did like a week ago, was it? That might have been something you did as a child, I'm hoping. <laughs> well, I suppose you've never been taught, you've never been taught, so, uh... Okay, sure. If you can't provide real flowers, just the drawing of flowers. That's so sad. Oh, man. This game is already sort of tugging at my heartstrings, and that's kind of cool. Um, okay, is it is it that? I, I don't want to lift the veil or anything. I don't want to... I don't want to see what lies beneath. Let's back out of this, I suppose. Um, let's have a look at uh, the Bible. It's reading time. Oh, it's, it's, it's reading time still? Uh, I might be going back to Treasure Island. Yeah. Yeah, the dreary morning's work before us. There were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned. Oh dear. The ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats, wherever I had. 
Okay, so he follows the routine to the letter, no matter what. Wow. Alright, so everything's been checked off now. Do you do anything that isn't itemized? For the next day, okay. What are we doing today? The same damn thing, okay. Really? Alright, day, uh, 11,110. Medical, vitamins, decimeter. So we're going back to the same cabinet, are we? I hope you've got more medicine somewhere, because you you certainly don't have, you know, 27 years worth of pills in there. Thankfully, at least this time, he's doing it all himself. If I was forced to, you know, do this again and again and again, that might really annoy me, but, uh... Let's see. What's the level this time? Radiation is oh, shit. the ATMR. It's increasing. Oh, fuck. Why? Uh... I'm assuming when we get to part three, the radiation check is gonna give us something. But let's check the radio again before that. Is there anyone out there? Come on. No. Something that resembles some noise, but no. All right. Maybe that's going to say two survivors or something soon. I don't know. Let's see. Let the radiation check. I think this is there's going to be some sort of error, right? Probably. Really? All systems functioning normally. So, hmm, that's kind of weird. Okay. So is it uh is it is it peach time? I guess so. Maybe I'll choose another box. Oh no. 27 years. Three months and thirteen days left. They might all be peaches. Maybe that's why he needs the vitamin B to offset what are in the peaches or something? I don't know. Oh, is it reading time now? We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind. The same we page gone out and manned. And the ship so you, you do this every day? The corner of the island, you read the same part of the book? The narrow passages to You're insane! I mean, I don't blame you, considering what you've been through and everything, but what the fuck? Choose the Bible, choose anything, read the lamp. Okay, that's, that's another one cleared up. A double tick there, nice one. Very dexterous, this man. Day 11,011. Well, I suppose we're going to do the medical stuff again. I think something is going to have to break us out of a routine at some point. Ah. Uh, sooner rather than later, probably. Okay. This level's going to go up again, isn't it? Oh, you can already tell. Even if I haven't focused, but you can already tell. It's like near 80. Just past 80. Over 80 MR. Shit. Nothing. I really wish he'd turn the knob a little bit more slowly, because I, I really do feel that there's something in between where he's turning that you might, like, hear, but... Uh, yes, yes. Here we go. Alright. Analyzing, yeah. What's the problem? Something to do with radiation. Server failure. Okay, so I had to follow a manual or something? Was that the one that was on the, the bedside cabinet? Next to my mother, maybe? Where's the manual? Uh, I don't know. We got the cursor back, so hello. Um, uh, what are these? Little models? I don't know what to do. No. I suppose I shouldn't be looking at the little models that maybe I've carved out? If I find the manual, I can fix this. Okay, sure. I... I... don't think it's around the desk, to be honest. Can I leave? Is the back thing's gone? Okay, maybe maybe it's in one of the drawers. Let's see. Okay, so I've got the choice of uh, all three here. Let's, let's start at the top, work down. My old diary. 
My diary. Today it is my birthday, and I have had extra peaches, my favourite. <laughs> and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Oh, okay. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy. It's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. <laughs> I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. So they're his friends? That's what I was just playing with. I guess he didn't have anyone else to, to grow up with in the bunker. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights. So that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. I suppose that makes sense. When did Rocky come out? Something like... Oh, it was like 70s, wasn't it? Like 76, 77? Okay, so the list of friends. We've got Mum, Doctor, Nurse, Churchill, Sam, Soldier, General, Engineer, and the Commissioner. Who I guess is MIA or KIA, unfortunately. There you go. Okay. It's voiced and everything. That's great. And if you couldn't like read that or hear that, there you go. That's nice. Right, let's back out of that. that I mean, that's not the manual. There is some sort of emergency. We probably shouldn't be looking at, at little uh, figurines and diaries. Let's check the second drawer down. My underwear drawer. It's not there. Let's try the third one. Okay. The manual. Jesus Christ, that's huge. Uh, so, well, this is going to be sort of like 1980s technology in this bunker, isn't it? So this isn't going to be streamlined at all. This is going to be horrible. Uh, okay, so, yep, server failure. We've got to make an announcement that Main's power is being shut down for maintenance. I don't think that's all that important, considering. Um, two, find a fuse box located in storage room, level two, and identify the damaged fuses. Replace those fuses, shut off the Main's power, replace the fuses, switch the power back on, and then perform a system check to make sure everything uh, went as it should. Okay! Right. This involves leaving the room, though. Breaking routine. Find the fuse box level two. Find the fuse box level two. Okay. Just bringing that for luck, I guess. Uh, toy collection? Mum. Right. So these are like little collectibles on the way, I guess? Yeah, okay, this is kind of neat. This, there's, there is a bit of a game here in this. This is nice. I need to find the fuse box on level two. Okay, all right. We, that probably involves leaving the room and everything. But I want to have a look inside the locker, actually. Oh, it's open. What have we got down Just there? Just my locker. Okay. Right. I don't want to change your boots or anything, so... I'm not sure I can do this. You've got to do it. This actually might be a first for him. This is kind of weird. I mean, you heard his mother. Stay in your room, you'll be safe. This is kind of cool, actually. So there's, this is going to be CCTV footage outside the room, maybe? Neat. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at this door, I guess. What's this? Oh, right. Look how much he's sweating. Oh. Pull yourself together, man. It's just a door handle. You can do it. You can do it. I mean, the other 50-odd survivors that used to stay in the bunker with him obviously didn't stay in that room, so it's got to be safe out there. Or you'd... You'd think it might be. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's locked. Of course it is. 
<laughs> after plucking up the courage and everything. Uh, okay. Um, sure, so we can't go in there, but it looks like I can use this door. I can go through it into room one. Okay, not quite so tentative. He's been in here before. Oh, yes, for uh, for reading time. Okay. Oh, and now we actually have access to the drawers as well. Yes. Bit of a shame, isn't it? Okay, we'll, we'll leave her... We'll leave her be. I think... Let's have a look at the drawers. So let's start with the top one. I remember drawing these. <laughs> oh, and you said you weren't very good at drawing. That is so realistic. Maybe we're going to find some real-life replicas soon. Uh, next. Ah, oh, very nice. I probably did something very similar as an edgy 13-year-old, honestly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's he's ready for duty. He's ready for everything, actually, that guy. Uh, okay, rocket, sure. Greg, Greg? Is the moon called Greg? Is, am I reading that right? No, maybe not. <laughs> I guess that's meant to be a dolphin? Sure. Sure, okay. Um, I guess that's it, so let's go back. Nothing too useful. No key, certainly, so... I guess what we're going to do is try the draw below it. I'm actually quite enjoying this game, I've got to say. Uh, I can't believe I was so apprehensive when I was beginning. Um, sure. There we are. There it is. Well, there's a key anyway. The key. Now I have to leave. You do. No excuses now. Should be able to unlock the door. Anything else in there? Doesn't look like it, or at the very least, nothing I, nothing I, uh, I know I need. So, we're backing out. Okay, and the drawer below it—that is also an option. What's in the cupboard? Okay, quite dark. Is there like a tarantula hiding down there? Maybe. Uh, There's nothing I need there. I bet there will be. Maybe, just not yet. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll back out of this. I have the key. That's what I came in here for, I think, really, so... Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Right, so we don't have, like, an inventory or anything, do we? I mean, this is a point-and-click, essentially, but... There's no bars on the bottom or anything like that. We can actually walk down the corridor, I think? Let's try that. Alright, where does this go? Oh, uh, sick bay and a storeroom. Right. Okay. I'm sure we'll come back at some point. Just wanted to know what I was dealing with. Right. So I'm just trying the handle again. This is quite cool. You have to you have to drag this down like you're simulating pulling the handle down, I suppose. And it works. I like that. But you want it. That's it. He's got it. And lo and behold, it works. What's this? All right, bit of a flashback, I guess. <laughs> and I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it out. Up. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Doctor Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. And bare minimum means. I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. <sighs> Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Jesus Christ. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? fighting over scraps. We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. 
Shit up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Oh. I didn't suspect that step would hold so many memories, but there you go. So, uh... He has been out of his room before. He's been here before. And now we arrive at level two. Okay. How many levels are there, just out of interest? Hmm. Anyway, this is the one we need to be at. So... If I have the choice... Do I have the choice? Oh, I do have the choice to go down. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to go for this door. And it looks like it's already unlocked. Okay. <laughs> level 2 is in the level of the building, or the bunker, <laughs> or level is in the game level. Might be a bit of both, to be honest. Office, apparently. Okay. A bit dark in here, isn't it? Uh, ah, okay. Light switches, I hope? Let's give it a try. Alright, so this is level two, and this seems as good a place as any for me to say thank you very much for watching the first part of The Bunker. So far, so good. I think I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised. There's actually more of a game here than I was first anticipating when I started. So yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to part two, honestly. Hopefully you guys are as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or by liking the video to show your support. And I uh, hope to see you in part two, where hopefully we will find the fuse box and sort out this server failure problem. See you then. Three months and 14 days of food left. Jesus. <laughs> Hitting two birds with one stone, I suppose. I mean, peaches, maybe they go right through him. Uh, that's four down, one to go, and it's mother. What does that involve? Right. So you do this every day? You eat the same part of the book? You're insane! I mean, I don't blame you, considering what you've been through and everything, but what the fuck? Choose the Bible, choose anything, read the lamp. There is some sort of emergency, we probably shouldn't be looking at, at little uh, figurines and diaries. Let's check the second drawer down. My underwear drawer. It's not there. Let's try the third one. <laughs> 